So here we are, day seven at the Origin Expo, and there's literally nothing here. Already I can see that I finally have arrived on the correct day, as before I obviously got here way too early. This, Origin, this is the 890 jump I think, right? It is. The pinnacle of luxury. I think it's a yacht, as it's called. But, uh, I didn't even glance, because I know we have a whole lot to look at. We've got halls three and two and three to look at, and some things on the bottom, so... Let's get to it. So this is the 125A, which is classified as a light fighter. And by light fighter, it's super light, because, I mean, it's only got two guns on it. Or... Yeah, that's just a wing. The thing about Origin is that they are luxury first, usability second. You're not going to be the best fighter or you're going to be able to carry the most cargo, but you should be very fast and, of course, very stylish while doing it. And if I'm not mistaken, despite this looking like a uh, single seat fighter, I think there actually is a interior. And look at that. You don't even have to climb in. It has steps. She looks like you got a bed here. Oh. And there's a small amount of cargo. So you could smuggle people in here, I think. Interesting. And honestly, this seat kind of looks like a plastic bucket seat. Doesn't look terribly comfortable. Oh no, and I dropped my ketchup. But... Yeah, nothing can really beat this view. I mean, aside from this... Is it me or does the window look a little scratched on this model? Um... I may be uh, seeing things. I probably need to get my vision checked, but... That is a very nice view. Because this is one of the ships that if you want to have a, <laughs> a budget, a luxury ship, I feel like this would suffice. The 125A. I'm not honestly the biggest fan of its design, but if you want something stylish to go through space in, and you don't intend to do anything terribly complex, it might be for you. Now this is the 135C, which looks identical, except... It is more of a light freighter, as it's classified under. Plus, it's got this uh, nice blue and red paint job. I really like that. Although, I think the main change is that... It supposedly has a little more cargo space? I don't know. I don't... <laughs> it doesn't look like it has a lot of cargo space, so... Uh, I don't know, I feel like Origin is plotting some kind of scam, because it's funny, they say on the little, uh, you know, brochure about it, it's for musicians, couriers, and anyone trying to get the party started. I mean, I don't know. It definitely is a deceptive amount of storage, I'll say that. Ah, now here are the Origin ships I know. Except for, well, these two. I only know the 300i. This is, uh, once again, one of my favorite designs. It's a more basic design, but it's very timeless, I'd say. It's for touring, although it does have a sizable gun on the front. Three guns in total, and uh, looks like you've got a couple of uh, missiles. Which, if I'm not mistaken, look like they almost split off there. But the 300i has gone through several refreshes. This one has made it look much sleeker, the uh, 2950 refresh, which I'm a big fan of. If I recall, the way you enter... is through the side. And unfortunately, it is uh, not as luxurious as the uh, 125A, as there's a ladder. But it is slightly slanted, as you can see, which makes getting in a lot easier. But look at this, you're greeted with a moon roof. You can see the stars as you tour about. You've got your wine glasses, clothing, weapons of course. A whole sink. Where's the bathroom though? You'd think that they'd have a bathroom with a ship like this. 
Ah, oh, they do. How could I have been so foolish? They have a toilet. Yep, this is everything you need. A bed, which looks rather comfy. A whole kitchen and sink, which this unfortunately has no wine in it. Actually, you know, I think we would go perfect in here. With some ketchup. This is a comfortable seat. I mean, look at this. I think this actually has an ejector seat built in because not all ships do. But of course, you know, Origin, they've got to let you get out of your luxury uh, touring vessel if you're uh, <laughs> under attack. But look at this view. This is a fantastic viewing angle. Plus you've got the nice wooden dash, if I'm not mistaken. The luxurious uh, controls. Yeah, this is what you'd expect and want out of a luxury touring craft. Now you have Origin's, uh, I think, introduction to the very small ships, the 85X. First things first, I really like these wheels on it. Very nice landing gear, because a lot of ships don't have wheels. I think Origin is one of the few manufacturers that has them on their ship. Got a couple of light cannons on here. It almost has the rear of a uh, of a hypercar, you know, with these sort of tail lights or <laughs> engine accents, you could say. With this one, it's only the pilot seat, but if you didn't notice, there are two seats. So you can have the uh, primary pilot and the co-pilot. And once again, you've got the carbon fiber, some wood accents, and a fantastic view. A perfect ship to cruise around the verse with someone who hopefully doesn't get on your nerves because you uh, don't really have much of a divider and you can't go anywhere else unless you eject. <laughs> Next we have the 600i and hopefully I can actually get into this ship. But this is the smaller version of the 890 Jump. Still very luxurious of course if you don't want to fork out the that much for a luxury vessel like that, and you don't want one that's uh, as large, this is the right choice for you. Let's start on the lower deck. I've never been in such a luxurious vessel, except for the Constellation Phoenix, which I think I'll be able to see tomorrow. I'm very excited, because I've heard RSI is the final manufacturer to be shown at the 2950 IAE Expo, which I'm a little saddened by, that I didn't get to see more, but nonetheless, I lost my train of thought because look at this interior. If you want to travel the stars in luxury, this is how you do it. Although these couches don't look very efficient because look at all this wasted space right here. I mean, you can only set one person on it. They really need to think of that more and, ooh. A window to the floor below so you can look at all the peasants as you uh, fly over the mining colonies that you own in your luxurious touring vessel and we've come to the quarters I wonder if this is uh, for the crew you got some places to sit down a little monitor there and some rather comfy looking beds although I don't like how they're slanted on the side because I feel like that could uh, well, you could fall out if you weren't careful. But I love the wooden floors, very nice. And this is obviously the end of the ship because we've reached the escape pods, which they look very cushiony, don't they? Far more cushiony than you'd expect. And I'm assuming this is for the crew because I can't imagine the captain staying down here. Although, these are very luxurious amenities. I know, look at poor number four. He has to be all the way over there. All the way over here, away from the lockers. Ah, the finest bathrooms. This is so luxurious, you don't even see the shower head. Actually, I think it's right there. It's built into the light. Now we've come to the touring area. Looks like we've got a few books to read, separated by some fine alcohol. Compilers, looks very boring. Someone must be a bit of a technical nerd on this ship. And some plants growing on the wall. Wow. And, oh wait, this is not a touring area. This is the captain's quarters. 
Because look at this, there's a bed. A bed right here, so you wake up and you look at the stars. Now this, this is luxury. Of course, I have to ask, where is the captain's shower? Of course, that has been answered. This is at least part of their quarters. Looks like someone's been here. I sure do have quite a lot of stuff. Oh, and here is the shower slash toilet combo. I'm thinking. I was about to ask, where is the captain's toilet? But look at here, it's hidden in that closet. Ah, the cafeteria, I assume? Or no, this is where you entertain your guests. All the alcohol, beans you could want. Not much fruit, and only a few playing cards. I mean, come on. You gotta have at least a couple pairs, and some unique ones at that. But over here, you can observe the lower deck as you sip on your fine alcohols. Observing the stars, whisk by as you hoe at light speed. Origin really does seem to use their space quite well. And then here, I assume we have... This is an airlock? No. The main servers of the ship, I assume. Although they are numbered, I wonder why. I'm getting into the be underbelly of this. I don't know exactly what all these things are, but this is something engine related, no doubt. And under here, you've got a little TV. Very neat, uh, and a pool table. Or a billiard table. Ah, and here's one of the quarters. Yep, I was right. Those bottom quarters are for the crew, while this is for the guests. Ah, more escape pods, which I can assume is for the crew members that pilot the ship. Because I was wondering where the main bridge was, and alas, I have found it. Now, while I would sit in the pilot's chair, I, of course, have to sit in the uh, captain's chair. Oh, it even takes you up higher. Now that's nice. There's such a good view in this thing. I mean, I kind of want it for combat, because, you know, you want to have a good view when you're fighting things, in addition to s looking at things. Which reminds me that I haven't seen a single turn on this thing. I feel like you'd want a bit of armament on a ship like this, because it would be a, a bit of a target for pirates and such, but... Maybe not. Maybe you're only taking it to places where you have so much money you're able to pay for security yourself. Which uh, I'm assuming is what they're going for. And here we are. The 600i. What a beautiful ship. I may eventually have to get one of these. Of course, that will be far off in the future, as they are extremely expensive.